All right, welcome back, folks. We are on part number 11 of the Must Learn KQL series, the render operator, uh, as usual, aka.ms slash must learn KQL. Take a look at Rod's uh, content that's probably a little more detailed than what I'm doing here, but you'll get the general idea. So render operator, if we're looking at security events, pretty standard or so, for the last seven days, pull all the security events, and we want to put them in buckets of a day, which you can see here, and in the results, we have one for the 19th, 18th, 14th, and so on. So that's, okay, good information. Maybe I want to visualize that in a some sort of chart, bar chart, or whatever. You can do that with the render operator. And we'll take that same data, put it in a bar chart. There are a few different options you can use here. If you take out the bar chart, control space, and these are your options. So an area chart gives you a little bit different view. Column chart. Now some of these chart types are not going to work depending on what type of data you're pulling back. So I think it's scatter chart is looking for strings. No, that's not it. It's pie chart. So we're not pulling back any, uh, we're pulling back numbers in this case, or we're summarizing by the count. So a pie chart's not going to work here. So just something to keep in mind uh, when you're trying to visualize things. Again, there are your options. Table is pretty much the default. So that's the render operator. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.